Our chapter is some natural phenomena. Lightning. We already know what is lightning. It is an electric spark that occurs in nature. So what is caused? Uh, accumulation of charges in the clouds. So now we are going to see how the lightning is caused. See when the air currents move upwards and the water droplets, the rain water droplets move downwards. So what happened? The positive charges from the cloud, upper part of the cloud and the negative charge from the lower part of the cloud strike each other. Or else the, the negative charges in the lower portion of the cloud and the positive charges on the ground. So due to these charges, it causes the lightning. See during a thunderstorm, I already told you know, the hot air moves upwards, the raindrop fall downwards. So what happened? This leads to the separation of charges in the atmosphere. So as a result, negative charges get accumulated in the lower part of the clouds, while positive charges accumulated at the upper part of the clouds. So the ground is accumulated with the positive charge all over. So these charges begins to multiply. And then what happened? We all, uh, due to heavy charges, the negative charges and positive charges meet, which results in the production of electric sparks. That electric spark in the form of light, which is accompanied by a sound, that is uh, lightning along with a thunder. So this streak is called lightning and the whole phenomenon is called electric discharge. So the electric discharge can occur between two or more clouds. So this electric uh, cloud to cloud lightning or else cloud to air lightning or cloud to ground lightning may occur. Electric discharge. See the flow of charge from cloud to cloud or from cloud to earth due to the separation of positive and negative charges is called electric discharge. See for example, if it happens within the cloud to cloud, so uh, in upper part of the cloud positive charges will be there, in the lower part of the cloud negative charges will be there. So when in both of them strike each other, like, um, a streak of light, lightning occur or else between two clouds or bit the discharge or else the discharge uh, between the clouds and to the earth. Why does lightning strikes tall buildings easily? We know that lightning occurs as a streak of charges. Okay, so usually the tall buildings and tall trees can easily conduct the charge towards the ground. And also the air between the building buildings and lightning is short. So they can easily susceptible to lightning. So it does not mean short objects would not be affected by lightning. Short objects also be affected by lightning, but compared to taller objects, the tall, tall buildings or tall trees can easily conduct the charges towards the ground. Answer the following. What causes lightning? What is electric discharge? Why does lightning strikes tall buildings easily? Draw the diagram of accumulation of charges leading to lightning. Refer chapter 15, some natural phenomena, page number 188 and 189.